purpose of this video is to show how to measure tension using line smarts. In this example, we've already taken a photo of a span and the two supports. The distances to the supports have been entered and the positions of the supports on the images have been identified and a span calculated. To measure the tension, select the plus icon on the top right and that opens up the catenary info page. In here we can add details about the conductor such as its type and the temperature uh, at the time of survey. Also there's two fields here for the final temperature and final linear load. These can be used for calculating load cases, different load cases. They'll be covered in another video. Next step is to locate the conductor on the image. So select the locate catenary button and zoom in to select points at either end of the, the conductor uh, span and also one in the center. So we're using the buttons on the top right of the screen to identify which uh, which points we're selecting at any given time. So here we're just doing the final right conductor and we choose a button on the top left to return to the catenary info page and you can see that it's calculated a catenary constant and tensions. However, on the screen it shows that the actual conductor uh, catenary, the attachment points don't match where the attachment points actually are. And that's because the attachment points are offset from the center of the structure and we need to allow for that. So if we, in the top field, if we put in the actual offset of the attachment points, which is 0 0.8 uh, meters, and that's been calculated using the dimension measurement function in Line Smarts. That will then correct that, so the conductor now uh, sits in the correct position and the tensions will be correct. So if we choose the button on the top left, that takes us back to the span info page and we can see down the bottom that there's an entry for a uh, conductor tension measurement. So in there it records the catenary constant tension and mid-span sag. If we want to do further measurements we just hit that plus button again.